Lauren Silva and Clay, you just had an opportunity to perform here at Indy Thursday. How was it this evening? It was awesome. I believe you. That was good. That gave me a lot. Um, so, what was what was good? What was the difference between performing here at the Renaissance and a lot of other venues that the indie artists would have to perform at? Brent is awesome. I love how he's created this event to create opportunities for artists. Right. So, it's a very supportive environment, and it's like trying to help people instead of it feeling right. like competitive or cutthroat, like right. how it can be in this business. Yeah. So because of I can see the kind of person Brent is like his spirit it like since he's the one who started this yeah. it really spreads out throughout the whole event and creates just amazing opportunity for artists to perform so so when you say that Brent's really good to indie artists what, in the industry is it more they're trying to get you to give them something to be able to perform or is Brent's just literally trying to promote the independent artist um well I'm not as familiar. I'm, I'm getting to know how it is in LA because yeah. we live in Austin and we're Austin, Austin that's Texas well, Take that, geography teacher. Well, there's Austin and then there's Texas. There's a big difference between Austin and Texas. <laughs> yeah. So, but no, but um, I, I had a placemat map when I was a kid, and Austin, Texas, is in Texas. That's a fact. Yeah, no, but, but have you ever been there? Absolutely not. I've driven through Texas to Panhandle. So, so then that's why, like, Austin is not really made up of that many people from the South. It's more because it's a music town. Right, right. So it's it's really got a California vibe, actually, too. Believe yeah. it or not, it's kind of like a California vibe in the South, right, honey? Right? Yeah. Would you agree? Yes. Okay. Well, the, if Clay agrees, I believe you. I didn't believe you until Clay, Clay came in there. Yeah. So, um, I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> you were talking about Texas and Austin, oh. Texas being separate. Right. Well, so I'm, but I'm seeing like how the scene is here in LA. So, but what I'm seeing from what I've experienced is that it's a lot different because I, th I heard you have to pay to play a lot of places right. here. Right. And so this is like an opportunity to get artists paid for a gig yeah. for shows and then for more opportunities to do more things so right. you know there's so much talent out there but it just needs to be seen by the right people and so this creates that so it's awesome was it for you to perform here at indie thursday i know you were actually you like did you guest perform on the other artists too yeah do you, do you see how good my memory is that i talked to that guy like five minutes ago I, if you paid me a million dollars i have no idea what his name is but actor i'm a tool so what did you think about performing here tonight um, I think it was great. I think uh, it's got a real um, like loose vibe. Yeah. I just like that I got to play with two separate people. I feel like I'm freelancing tonight, <laughs> but Gr gratuity included. Just be like, okay, come on. Whatever the butcher tells me to do, I guess that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. That's right. See that name sticking. That name sticking because that's Brent's real reputation. So, guys, thank you so much for coming out tonight. You know, you was a wonderful interview and. Uh, Thank you for saying such kind things about Indie Thursday. You guys sounded great out here tonight, Thank too. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. And you know what? There's a song. You're not from Texas. You don't know you're not from Texas. Texas something, something, something. I forgot. You had like that kind of uncomfortable. I don't know if I want to sing this no, kind of face. I realize I didn't know the words, but there's a song that's, guess, oh, guess what? You're not from Texas. Right. Guess what? You're not from Texas. Uh -huh. That's us. That's the, that's the song. That's us. Seems that that's you guys, because you're not, but you were there recently. <laughs> That's great. That's how I like to end the interviews. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. You're like a color that never heals. The more I believe, the less I feel. It's in your touch, the perfect child that keeps me here